pause for webcam adjustment. Hold on, Mike. All right. <laughs> Sorry. You know, it takes about five seconds for my camera to get it. Started. The finger guns are like pause. You're just like. <laughs> Welcome back, right. everybody, to another episode of Matt and Mike and Stevens X File CCG. We have yet another tournament game uh, going on tonight. Uh, Going to be a good one. Got some new competitors uh, tonight. Uh, some new strategies, some new gameplay. Going to be a lot of fun. So, uh, without further ado, let's uh, bring in our contenders here. We got uh, Nathan and uh, John. Welcome. How's it going, guys? How you doing? Hello. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Mike, for hosting and um, Mike and Stephen for running the tournament. This is a thankless job. Made even more thankless by the constant badgering about rules. So that's I, fair. But, um, I, I think uh, I, I think Mike and I were uh, pretty uh, well. I think we were well aware we were what we were in for when we signed up for it. And though, did we think there were going to be this many? Maybe not. But I, I mean, we knew there were going to be a few. I, I just didn't think there were going to be ones that I feel like have. I, I like the Langley thing had been around since time out of mind, but it, yeah, it's just stuff like that, that it almost just from the moment that we kicked it off, it was just like, question, 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 question. Yeah. Yeah. No. And, and, and we've been, and we've been really blessed um, in that. Uh, I don't know if that's the right word, but um, in having David may at our disposal and Steven's working, we, we, we had a, an amazing conversation with David may last night. Um, you know, the, the, Again, you know, I don't want to put a dollar in the jar. We'll, you'll find out uh, about that more after the interview. But, uh, you know, the spirit of the game has really played a role in how we've proceeded with conflicts and, and, and rules. And today, if you've been on the Discord rule, uh, I just read that. If you've been on the, uh, the Discord uh, today uh, in regards to the issue that came up recently, um, you will see that, you know, it's it's based upon the spirit of the game. It's based upon what's in the rule books and our interpretation of that. And I, I guarantee you, not every single absolute person, not all fourteen competitors, are going to be a hundred percent on board with the decisions that we made. But I will say this: every single one of you, all fourteen, have been very respectful about the decisions that we've made, and for that alone. Thank yeah. you. It really, it really makes this easier and more fun for everyone. Um, hey, Mike, can I interrupt and ask? Do you see my play area? Mm -hmm. I haven't put it on. I haven't put it on yet. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead, Stephen. Just, uh, just making sure it's there and not disappeared into the ether. <laughs> yeah, it, it is there. Uh, so oh, yeah, no, Nathan. Black, um, so. You have played uh, quite a few games uh, between with Mike and I, but I did want to give John a chance to uh, talk just briefly, John, if you don't mind, uh, about your uh, your introduction to this game. Um, do we have the John, mic? John, can you hear us? Oh, I'm here. Sorry about that. I was, I was having some necklace on the chair. Uh, so weird audio garbage. It happens. <laughs> We're marred by technical issues yeah, here. I don't fine. still. I still don't see my player. That is that is very strange. I don't see it either. Um, where are we? Oh, that's weird. Yeah, I see it when I see it down below. Put uh, put your hand under it. Let me see if I can see it below. Oh yeah, yeah. it's frozen. So yeah, the, the 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 issue or the image that we see below is static. So there's something going on. Yeah, see, it's not moving at all. Hmm. Dave Meyer rules be damned. Wow. Oh, there we go. There it's there it's gone. Excellent. Well, that's, that's strange. It does that auto rotate thing like on the main, but not on the bottom. That's very strange. Yeah, because I could. Yeah, it looks fine on the. It looks fine back. It looks fine backstage, Nathan. But yeah, out front, it's 
yeah, it's like it's got a portrait thing going on. And uh, and while we're while we're getting that sorted, I do want to welcome our live viewers, uh, which we currently have four at the moment. One of them being uh, Dave Meyer, who uh, invariably he is asking for cake. Uh, and in this case, uh, yeah, <laughs> I was going to say lots and lots of cake. Uh, yep, it's all it's the only thing he comes here for. In addition to that, I want to also welcome uh, Daryl H., who's been uh, following us habitually uh, since this tournament got started. Daryl, thank you again for tuning in. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is uh, Sky Evans, also tuning in from Japan, uh, who has a game tomorrow, who's got one of the three games that is happening tomorrow. Uh, that one, at um, I believe it's 8 o'clock Central Standard Time between Dave Meyer. But that is the third of three games tomorrow is going to be a fun packed day of X-Files CCG in which we're going to kick off at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And that is going to be between David Peace and Paul Cuomo. And uh, that's going to be David Peace's final game, Paul's second game. In the middle of the day, John Wood, who just played last night, is going to come back and he's going to take on Staff Parker in his second game. Actually, that's John's second game and Stafford's second game tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Central Standard Time. So those are three matchups happening. 10 a.m., 2 p.m., 8 p.m. It's all Central Standard Time. I'll leave the viewers to figure out what time that is in their respective time zone. And by that point, Mike, as you and I had, were talking about earlier today, that is probably going to be a good indicator of where, of where most people are probably going to be standing as we inch closer to the finals. Uh, for those of you who may not be well aware of what the game plan is going into the finals, I was a little fuzzy earlier, to be honest, and Mike had to clear it up for me. So what's going to happen is once all 21 pre-playoff matchups conclude, the top two in the, the top two contenders in the standings are going to get a buy-in and they're going to automatically bypass the first round of the finals and they're going to begin in this in round two. So then the reason yeah, we have to do that is because we have 14 contenders and it's going to complicate our round two with an odd number unless we do a buy-in. It works when you have 12 players or 16 players, like some square number that you can work with. But in this case, we have 14. So the way it's going to work is we're going to have the top two with a buy-in and they get past the, they bypass the first round of the finals or the pre or the playoffs that is, and then they begin in round two. So there'll be six matchups for their first round of the finals and then from that point the 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 two buy-ins will enter with the other six winners of that yep. first round and then we'll have four rounds in the second round right mike yeah so if if any of you are familiar with uh, the nfl i used to be a huge uh, nfl uh, geek uh go patriots um Boo. Uh, all right all right i'm making i'm making friends for life uh, <laughs> um, I know, right? I'm over here in Oregon, and I'm like, go Patriots, and everybody's going, dude, geographically, that doesn't play. Um, but anyway, uh, so in the NFL, the way it works is the, the top uh, teams from – the top two teams, actually, from each division, AFC, NFC, uh, in the, with the highest records, they get to sit out that week. Uh, and that's basically what we're doing here. So uh, – if we have more than two uh, teams or players that are 3-0, and then we're going to have to reassess that. I guarantee you, though, I promise every each and every one of you that it will be uh, as fair as it can be. I don't care. I'll, I'll get that bingo ball thing up and going again if I have to to make sure that everybody's fair. But, um, but yeah, so there will be the top two with the bye, six games going into three and then four. And then from four to two and two to one. So that that is the plan. Also, boo. <laughs> <laughs> the Bears. That's nah, fine. <laughs> hey, 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 Dave, why don't you go outside of your, your porch right now? I left some cake out there for you. Go, 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 go. It's okay. Go. It's out there for it's you a right very, now. It's a very nice looking cake, Dave. Promise. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, it's good news. It's his like like left because his corporeal body went running for that door <laughs> <laughs> hey it turned the right way look at that excellent the right uh, way, full size let's turn back to john hey john could you do another uh, sound check for us now Come in. 
Uh, it's coming out warbly. Let's try to alternate the mics here, and we'll try the other one and just see if that works. All right, and go. Keep 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 going. Keep going. Keep talking. Keep going. All right, man. I'll see if I can push to the. Uh... Oh yeah, you know there also might be. It's got like a. Um, it should already be checked, John. But if uh, if you go into the audio section uh, of the settings, make sure the echo cancellation and the reduced mic background noise are both are both uh, checked, and then. Oh, uh, Dave, my, oh, I think I also know what's going on. So, John, on one of your two tabs that you have open, um, is there a, no, there's, I think we have to do a bot. Oh. Yeah, what? You or something. Let me uh, see what's going on here. Around here. Right. Okay, I might, let's see. I'll try to get to the uh, webcam, yeah. mic and stuff, see if that's any better. Better. Your initial, like when you start talking initially, it's really garbled, and then as you keep talking, then it just kind of it balances out. It's very strange. Yeah, I'm trying to flip to the other one. Speaker, Biltech. Any better? Keep talking. It, that did sound good. All right, man. Course, course, seven years ago. Or Fathers cross away from this common nation dedicated to the problem. Yeah, that sounds that's that that sounds that sounds useful. I do gotta commend him. He is from the sound of it, he's reciting it quite well. Uh though it is kind of going in and out. Um, uh it's kind of like it's it's um it's kind of like a warbly uh, feedback that's just kind of cutting in and out. And I was just checking Dave Meyer's notes to see if he had anything. Um, you know, so you know, honestly, both of your tabs are unmuted. I, I had the same problem when I used one computer for both uh, both cameras. Even though it was in two, di two different tabs, I ran into the same kind of problem on my end. Mm -hmm. uh, so, like, I've got, like, a laptop over here. And then this is hooked up to the computer um, because, like, one computer couldn't handle it. Hmm. Um, do we need to? Um, oh, I don't know. Headphones probably wouldn't work. You're you're using uh, no, uh, Dave, or John, or not John, Nathan. You're using I'll a try, phone. I'll try using the. Uh, if that helps. You know, okay, um, the internet. Connection too is very laggy. Yeah. Is that worse? Any other? I I, I no. tell you I tell you what can we can we can we try one thing can we um uh I, I'm I'm fine with this if we just need to do play mat versus play mat. Um, okay. We still, got, we still got the audio. Is that okay with this game with with you, Nathan? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try that. Yeah, John, go ahead. Go ahead and uh, John, if you would uh, close the tab with your uh, that's you, you know you're up close to your face. Just close that tab altogether and see if we can hear you with just your table. Whoops. <laughs> oh, uh, but that's okay. He can switch the uh, like on this one. He can just go into the settings and switch and select the, the other cam. And so this one should be. I'm going to unmute this one. Okay, uh, you, John, you'll have to hit the unmute. I think for this one. There you go. Yeah, and just unmute that. Ah, I think we're both hitting it, Stephen. Oh, sorry. You you go ahead, Mike. 
I don't think it, yeah, I don't think it was me, but yeah, go ahead. Okay. okay. Hey John, go ahead and give and um, give us a check. Yeah, John, go ahead and talk to us a little bit. John, can you hear us? Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can, yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, you, you seem to be coming in decent. Uh, keep talking. Tell us. Uh, re recite the uh, bill of rights again. Guys. Yeah, I know. It's going to be pretty tough if we can't talk. Yeah, I know. And there are many things that I would like to say to you. But I don't know how. <laughs> oh, man. Steven, you got right, any... Is that uh, more carb? What do you gook or is that better? You got any ideas there, bud? Well, wait a second. John, go ahead and talk again. That sounded okay. Yeah, is that better? Much yeah. better, yeah. yes. Yeah, keep okay. talking. Back to the, uh, the onboard mic instead of the one over the, my head. I think. <laughs> okay. All right. Do we want to try it? Direct line. It seemed it seemed manageable. Do we want to just uh, say go for it and see what happens? Yeah. yeah let I'm me, okay. Uh, let me bump out of my face tab. Yeah, this sounds better, John. So I think we're good. Yeah. All right. I yeah. can move the can move the laptop a little closer to me as well, probably. Yeah. That helps. All right. Yeah. Go off my two thousand and seven ThinkPad. I think that I think that does it. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, and uh, I know yeah we have a quite uh, we're quite yeah someone's already asking about the teams. So yeah, John, you're working with it looks like uh, Walter Skinner and um, Jerry Lamana, Lamana, Agent Kresge, uh, Detective Manners, uh, Section Chief Levins, and Agent Nancy Spiller. Excellent. Yes, and that is a total of twenty RP, and you are looking at a total of four resource points generated, although depending on where Skinner and Blevins are in the briefing phase, if they're in the bureau section, they'll each generate a bit more, but if they're out in the field, um, and they'll just be generating a base yeah, one. It's seven on a good day, four on a bad day. <laughs> Where'd Nathan right. go? Uh, so Nathan, since we're just doing uh, two just two playmats, Nathan just went ahead and bounced his image back screen. So it'll just be the two playmats we see. Okay, cool. All right, I'm, on. I'm here though. I'm here. All right. Well, we'll get out of your guys' hair Please and we'll let you figure it out. If we if we run into too many problems, maybe we have to reschedule. But uh, you know, I think uh, we're we're fairly decent for now. So uh, Stephen and I will back out and let you guys play your game. Uh, good luck to both of you. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Thanks, gents. All right, John. So I'll I'll introduce my team here. The big reveal. We've got Hostine. We got Nancy Spiller. Jerry Lamana. Ah, uh, I knew I couldn't Detective trust him. Manners. And Fox Mulder. And all my days are bad days. I'll be generating just three res. Um. And the rest have to go to draw cards with Mulders. So there's some tokens on here. Let's see. Should we um should we flip a flip a token to see who goes first? Well, I'll let you pick. It doesn't matter to me so much. 
You let me pick. Oh boy. Yep, your preference. Um, well, I'll take the I'll take the first investigation phase then. Or the invest I'll be the investigating player to start then. Okay. Which will put you in the conspiracy department. All right. So I'll draw my seven. Do you have a, a hand drawn already? Oh, I can do that too. All righty. Okay, I've got my seven. All right, so let's get into it. Um, I'll draw my freebie. I will get my dice out here. Actually, I oh, can I better probably put my, use... my starting coins out. I think we get yeah. five of each, right? That's right. Yes. Well, obviously, but I mean, yeah. <laughs> Everybody was. Yeah. And let me. I was going to use this as my webcam, but since I'm not, I can probably use this as my token token counter. If I can find that app. This is riveting television here for the audience as I, as I hunt for my... Um, In the world, well, uh, I have I am a newbie to this game. Uh, my wife and I did kind of a walkthrough prior to this match, and she uh managed to kick my butt with a, an X marks a spot deck that was together from the 90s, I think. Oh, nice, <laughs> John. Be uh, um, be sure and hold your cards so, closer uh, to your vest there, we can see them. Awesome, so the big reveal. <laughs> yeah. he, hasn't, he hasn't played that card yet, even. <laughs> I, just, use I, just put him, I just wanted to point out just just make sure you hold them closer to your vest because yes, uh, you don't want to get point. <laughs> <laughs> so i i actually did not see any of them so you're still i i yeah. should have been paying closer yeah. attention yeah. really with your whole steam or something you know then you can see them <laughs> that's right that's right because you're definitely going to get hosting <laughs> on turn one so yeah um let's see yeah. All right, so generate res. So I'm going to get uh, one each off of hosting Spiller Lamana. That'll put me at eight. I'm drawing two off of Mulder two. Yes, and that will be volume on this end. Sorry. Okay, and that will be um, that'll be the only cards I'm drawing are Mulder's two, and then I'll turn it over to you to buy and sell. Wow. Okay. Let's see here. Hmm. I think I'll hang on to what I got. Okay. So we don't have healing or requisition. Um, we do have deployment, and I'll move everybody up to the field. And during the deployment phase, let's uh, let's take a look at what you're playing with with Hosting's token. Okay. So for our viewers, hosting allows me to discard his token to look at the opponent's hand. I get to select one conspiracy card. If uh, John plays that card at any time in the game, I can immediately ask one uh, question about his X file. Yes, my my wife used that ability quite quite handily earlier. <laughs> oh my goodness. You want me to reverse my uh, my screens for easier reading or something? Um, I, th I think I know what they are. So it looks like you have two sites. You yes, have... I have uh, Matheson, Langley, uh, the Psychiatric Hospital, the Host Attacks, Mattawa, Run For It, and everybody's favorite, Unexplainable Time Loss. Oh, my goodness. Well, host attacks can take one of my agents out of the game, which is not a great thing. 
Um, he's the late effect. You have like five turns to figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which sounds great in theory. Um, let me see. What, what are the activators on that guy? So he's got conspiracy and results site. And his keywords are what? Adversary, evolutionary, killer? Uh, yes. Adversary, evolutionary creature, and killer. He's a creature. creature. And killer. And conspiracy. Wow. And results. So, yes, you get that. And then it's, uh, is, that a, is that a combat card I see there? Uh, yes, you see run for it, which is what you do when you see one of these or any other creature. <laughs> and that is a that is not a conspiracy card, correct? <laughs> no, it's an active uh let's see. Okay. Activation combat. Yes, it is a not a conspiracy card. It is a de a defensive card for the most part. <laughs> okay. Um Interesting, interesting. So my choice really is just the host attacks or unexplainable time loss. And I think I'm going to choose unexplainable time loss for that. So unexplainable time loss is hosting. Yeah, it's a marked card now. And I'm not sure how to designate that, but I trust we'll remember that yeah. detail. <laughs> Mike, can you remind me it's a max of uh, of two sites for the tournament per turn? Uh, yeah, that's correct, Nathan. So you can put down as many sites as you want on the map, but in a single turn, you can only send them up to up to two. Okay, sounds good. Now, this, uh, the other play sites, so don't they go away then? Um, so if I play play? them and you do not put a bluff on them and I don't investigate them, then they go away. If they have okay, a bluff on them, they're going to stay in play, yeah. All right. But I think I'm going to do, so I'm going to do two sites. Now that host is a results site, so... Gonna be a little, a little wary of that, I suppose. Um, and I might as well use two of Mulder's tokens here to play these sites. Um, we're gonna do. Got to avoid the results. Got to avoid the results. Um, okay, so we're going to do Arlington, Virginia. Oh, did my camera freeze up? Can anyone hear me? I can hear you, but uh, I don't see it in play. <laughs> yeah, it does look like it might have might have frozen up, Nathan. Um, if you want to wave, yeah, it it did. Try waving your hand in front of it now. Maybe that C4 yeah, no, it is frozen. Uh, let me refresh and rejoin. Okay. Excellent. All right. So, and uh, uh, John, is this the first time you're using, you're working with this team of agents? You said you'd played previously with your wife. Was that a team you used in that game? Yes. Yes. They, uh, they were handily, uh, Hand, they had it handed to them. <laughs> Very That's strange. Well, yeah, I was like, kudos to your wife, though. Yeah. It was fine. It, it was like a walk because it was her first time, and it was. And I was just trying to figure out a play. <laughs> so.
So uh, our two sites are going to be Arlington, Virginia, which is an occult yes. investigation and affiliation, and Braddock Heights, Maryland, which is a bureaucracy and motive site. Okay. Well, I'm with the Arlington. What were the features? I'm sorry. Uh, so, so Arlington. Uh, the keywords are site, mono, affiliation, and occult investigation. Okay. And then Braddock Heights site, mono, motive, and bureaucracy. And um, I will I will send it over to you to play bluffs. I know you don't have any, but you can try <laughs> to bluff me if you want. Yes, yes, I can fool you now. <laughs> um, so I assume you're you're okay, no, right? Declining the opportunity. Yeah, um, and then we're going to assign. Let's see, Spiller, Lamana, and Manners to Braddock Heights site. John, make sure and watch your hand again. Yeah, I think this might be an opportunity for the uh, unexplainable time loss. Or is that supposed to come in later on? Well, you can you um, you can play it. The only downside to it is I get a question off it. So if you if yeah, you think that you can play it and, you know, it actually might be worth it because I'll get two questions off um, if you let these go unresolved. But yeah, I want to I want to block one of those investigative teams, uh, probably the, the, the three for there. Well, so so I'll get to choose which one I investigate first, yes, you and then do. you can. Uh, then I can well, choose I'm, which one I assign. <laughs> that's 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 right. That's right. And I think we've had a lot of discussions about unexplainable time loss. Mike or Stephen, did we land on that that he can target the the a different team than the one that's actively investigating? I don't recall. Uh, so what we're gonna do it for this is that. Nathan, um, he didn't play bluffs, so now we're going to proceed to the investigation phase. Just go ahead and um, you've sent your team to the site, and at this point, you, you are, you've divvied them up, but now you just declare which site we're going to begin the investigation, either the one with uh, Mulder and Hosting at Arlington or the, the trio at uh, the other site. So once you declare that, you can do, state your skills and all that, and at that point say, I have no cards that I want to play at this time, unless, or you do. And then you turn it over to John, and then he can play the unexplainable time loss if he so chooses. And he can he can uh, look to either team to make that skill check? Uh, he has to look to the team that is cur your current. He has to look to the team that are currently investigating the site at that moment. Okay. Phenomenal. Man, and I think my camera stopped again. This is ridiculous. Is there like some some auto off <laughs> nonsense going on here? Uh, let me change that, and then I'll flip back and see if it's any better. There we go. All right. We think I think I've got the hack down now. Um, okay, so we'll start our investigation over. Actually, we'll do the um, yeah we'll do we'll do Braddock Heights first. So this is a bureaucracy four plus. I have four bureaucracy from Spiller and Lamana, and I am not going to play any cards right now. So over to you, John, if you want to unexplainable time loss me or something else. That would be my only play, I think. So we'll do that. I'll burn my uh, my five tokens here. Okay. And we remind me what that does. Time loss for your bureaucrats. <laughs> is it a is it a four or five plus skill check? I don't remember. It's a four plus on the sciences, I think. Okay. Yeah. Which I which I currently cannot make. Before uh, before we get there, I get to ask you a question about your X file. Uh, because of the hosting effect. Yeah, I thought that kicked in after this was resolved. <laughs> but after, uh, uh, well, it doesn't. It doesn't really make a difference to me. No, it doesn't terribly. I don't think. But uh, I thought it so occurred I think, after the fight resolution. 
Mike, Mike or Steven, do you want to? Does it happen right I, away? If it happens right away, I'll be happy to entertain your question. Yeah, I mean, pretty much once uh, John has pl has paid for the site, it it, it is. It, the event, it, 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 yeah, what? Yeah, he's paid for. Sorry, yeah. Once John has paid the five to play unexplainable time loss, it is effectively in play. It's paid for at that point. The hosting effect kicks in. But as you said, Nathan, either way, like he's gonna that that skill check your team's not gonna make. So the turn is gonna end immediately once the question gets uh, resolved. Well, you don't know okay. that, Stephen. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> the way you were making it sound, I'm sorry, I was being presumptuous. Let me just get backstage and let you play. All right, so I will ask my question, and it looks like I have an affiliation and motive site out right now, so it probably behooves me to use one of those two. Um, and I think I will do a, a motive question. So, John, is your motive... Give me one second here to look at my options. Um, is your motive ideology? It is not. Okay. I went with one of the uh, the low number ones first, kind of hoping that I'd get lucky, but no. All right, so no ideology. Cigarette smoking man is out. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's my favorite character. Well, second favorite character. Uh, actually, I love Stephen Williams' X character. My favorite in the show, but yeah. Smoking Man is a close second. All right, so let's see. Make sure I got all of them. My camera decided to drop out again. Let me just fix that. There we go. So it looks like uh, I was able to knock one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine off the list there. All right. And now we're going to do the unexplainable time loss resolution. I'm going to pay one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to play uh, Smoke and Mirrors to apply a plus three modifier of my choice to anyone's skill check. I'll choose Sciences, which is going to give me uh, five total. And I'll be able to pass that. Awesome. And I don't Play. think, yeah, I don't think you have anything that you can negate that with. Um, so we'll go back to our site investigation. And if you have nothing else to play, I'll get another motive question off. Okay. So and that stops it from, that stops it from ending then. Is that correct? Yeah, I would have passed the skill check with uh, with five sciences. And I think for this one, I've got to let's see if I can winnow this down. Yeah. All right. Uh, John, is your motive control? It is not. Okay. Unfortunately, I, I probably should not have it. 
past that one for for reasons I'll explain. Well, you I, I did, yeah. It just wasn't because I have an affiliation uh, coming up. It, it was not the it was not the best use of my question there. But what are you going to do? Like well, you said, yeah. I learned something. Yeah, then you have three questions in one turn. You probably just my time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah I can't, can't be too upset about it, right? Um, yeah. Okay. Well, if I just keep pounding motive <laughs> questions at you, I should get this get this down pretty quick. But uh, okay, so that site is resolved. We're going to go over here to Arlington, Virginia. It is an occult investigation four, and I currently have seven seven there, um, which means unless something truly remarkable happens, I will also be making that. Uh, that skill check, right? Correct. Two, three, four. And it looks like I have five government and five alien. Um, um, so I'll ask, is your affiliation government? It is not. An O for three. Okay. Clearing out the deadwood. Yep. Okay. So I got you down to five, ten. 14, 18. Well, not a bad first turn. Not at all. And I'm going to end it with uh, seven cards in my hand. So we're good there. And I'll pass it over to you. All right. Well, I have nothing to discard. And I will start my turn. My free, well, anyway. Resources first. Uh, Lemons will opt to take it in, in uh, conspiracy tokens. And let's see, we have one, two, and then three, four, Skinner for a total of five RPs. And we'll get my free draw. Nobody to heal. I have nothing requisition. I think you have an opportunity to do your conspiracy thing before I play a site. Um, yeah, did you, you drew your cards for the investigation, investigating player already? Uh, yes, I don't okay. have the one this time. Okay, sounds good. So I'm gonna sell. Um, well, all these results site are, are really um, kind of pointless with host attacks in your hand. So I'm going to discard an evasive maneuvers for four and a... Um, See off till the Scan Norway uh, for a total of six. That'll put me at 11. And then I'm going to draw I'll draw three, 
three off that. Yeah, I'll make it. I'll make it four. That'll Which one was that? The uh, I'm sorry. Uh, the two I sold. But yeah. Were uh, were evas evasive maneuvers and the Norway site for a awesome. total of six. Okay. And then I, I, I used uh, four to buy four cards. So one. Yeah, momentarily distracted there. Sorry. Three. <laughs> Four. Okay, and it's back to you. All right. I will. I'm going to bring a uh, Senator Matheson on board as a witness. I like the good senator. Yeah, he gets he gets three tokens and he can remove uh, one per turn to add to bureaucracy. If I remember right, is that right? Yeah, it basically allows me to hedge my bureaucracy bet. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and play the uh, bureaucracy site. The uh, Matawa. Washington. Are you uh where it is? Are your agents you have to pick your agents who are going to the field? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're right, you're right, you're right. Uh <laughs> everybody's going to the field except for the guys that benefit from being in the bureau. They're gonna okay. hang back now. Just make sure I have enough bureaucracy on tap for that. I'm thinking ahead. Yeah, it should be good. Okay. And then we're uh, going to do the Mattawa Washington I already declared. Sorry about that. All right, and I think I will. I explain a while ago. Sorry. There. Yeah. I think I'll throw down two two bluffs on there. I don't think you're bluffing. <laughs> <laughs> We, I will I will pay to find out. Let's see here if I have any plays sure. before we do that. Now we'll uh, we'll let that unfold. Oh, I can I can see your hand. Oh, John. just remind me of the whole Langley thing again. It's um. After their reveal, typically, right? Yeah. So your best utility for the Langley, and I knew it was there. So you know, whatever. But uh, yeah, your best utility for the Langley is to wait until you investigate the site. I reveal them and pay for them, and then you get to pick which one is going to be discarded. Yeah, I thought that's how they finally come down with the ruling on that. I was like, sorry about the. All right. Yes, yeah, so I am investigating. All right, with those those four. Um... Yes, and the senator, the good senator's off off to the side here. He's just a, whatever. He's waiting, He's a... waiting in the wings. <laughs> All right, my two bluffs are two so got... two laser barriers. <laughs> oh. So I'm gonna. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, I will pay for both of them. It's going to cost me a total of two because they were played face down. You get them both out the same so time. So Laserberry allows me to, yeah, put, it, it put allows my team me to. In the, uh, put, put all my team in the hospital is what I allow you to do. You're going to hate me. You're going to hate me. You can only have one card of any one kind played at any given time in the same time. So oh. there can be 
There can be only one laser barrier play. You can play a laser barrier and have the other one as a bluff, but it can't it can't be played as an actual bluff. You can only have one of the same card okay. in play at any given time. Okay. I knew that was true for witnesses. I didn't know that was also true. That's true, true for people. every card in the game. I don't hate you, Mike. I don't this I, I don't hate you. I don't hate I don't hate you either. I don't hate you. <laughs> I love you. I love you, buddy. So um Okay. If, uh, if, I'll, I'll, if, I'll leave if you want to, like, how you want to. Yeah, I mean, if you guys want to resolve that, like take you know, take one of the buffs back. You know, it, it it's up to you guys. I just I want to make sure that you know, you guys are good. I love you. I love you both. I love you so much. I love you so. Much. <laughs> All right. Let, let Let's keep it simple. Uh, I'll let you uh, reclaim your your buff money uh, and I'll line the other one. Unless you encounter my language, it's entirely possible. So, so I'm taking one back. You're going to counter the one I played with Langley. Is that right? Yeah. So the, okay. well, I'll assume you would not have actually paid the two the two money if you couldn't have used it. So, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't take it back. Okay. I think That's the card fine. is. I think both cards are dead. I was them in the discard pile, but I'm not going to ask you to. Oh, I pay, okay. pay. Yeah. Because <laughs> they were played That's as fine. bluffs. That's fine. <laughs> So I'll pay the one, we'll kill them both, and you will pass the skill check then. All right. Langley goes away. He's discarded. Skill check is passed. I get a result question. Hmm. Let me remind myself of what this is. What is an unlikely result for you to choose? Hmm. Let's go with insanity. Uh, it is not insanity. All right. Thank you. Jonathan brought up uh, an interesting uh, point on this, too. I'll just show this. Same thing now, you said. now, if you remember um, back in the day, I, we're talking a couple years ago uh, when Matt and I started the channel and we started talking about decks uh, that we could make. Uh, we interpreted the rule as you could have any number of Samantha molders in the deck as you wanted, which like if you think about it, it, would just stack the deck, right? And it would create this endless, uh, you know, Samantha Boulder situation. And it was, I think, in, uh, I'm not sure if it was in one of the first David May's corners, but I know we asked him and he's like, yes, that rule does exist. You can play two at once, but the overall umbrella rules say you can only have two of the same card in the deck and they can't be played at the same time, except in this one case. So it was a very early on uh, rule that uh, was made back when Matt and I started the channel. And uh, I thought it was kind of interesting. And Jonathan picked up on that. Yeah. All right. Uh, John, I think it's still your turn if there's other stuff you want to do.
No, I think that'll be my uh, my turn this turn. Okay, I have. Uh, and I don't have I don't have cards to discard. Yeah, I'm at seven as well. All right, so we'll send it over to my briefing phase. I'll draw my free card. I'll generate my res, which is going to be three again, and I'll use uh, Mulder's two to draw two cards and then send it over to you to buy and sell. All right, so I can. This is where I can cash in my resources, draw a couple cards, basically. Confirms I'm, I'm sorry, you're breaking points out. and then spend those conspiracy. Sorry about that. Just thinking out loud. All right, I think I have one to sell. The uh, run for it. Yep. That's good for two. Mm -hmm. And I do want to conveniently, conveniently enough for for the host attacks, if I remember right. <laughs> the four, yeah. Uh, the uh, yeah. And what else do I want to do? I think that may be it for my conspiracy resource phase. Here. Okay. Um, I don't have healing or requisition uh, deployment. My agents are going to stay in the field. And let's see. Um, I think I'm going to play uh, two sites during case assignment again. I'm going to use Mulder's last token to pay for one of them. And it's going to be um, let me just make sure I get these right. Yeah. So one of uh, the freebie is going to be Lake Okaboji, which is an alien investigation and motive site. Second site is going to be Mattawa, Washington. Which is a bureaucracy and result. Oh boy. You must have a plan. <laughs> there may be a plan. There may be a plan. There may be a plan. And I think before we go to the bluff portion of this, um, Well, let's see. Let's see where my plan goes. Um, so you can play bluffs. Um. I'll decline the opportunity. All right. So we'll go to the investigation phase. Um, I think probably no surprise Mulder and Hosteen are going to Lake Okaboji. These uh, Lamana, Spiller, and Manners are going to Mattawa. And...
Yeah, let's do let's do Mattawa first and see what happens. So it's going to be bureaucracy four plus. I am currently sitting at four bureaucracy. All right, and as you're have you been anticipating the the host will attack? Yeah. So he costs four. I can't quite see what your, what your long range damage is there, but I figured it would be safe. It would be with the whole. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So the, they were, the long, long range is going to be three. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I tempted you to, to do it. <laughs> really. <laughs> yes. That's okay. That's okay. That's fine. So health three. Oh, so I actually will be able to take him out during long range. I have one uh, one long range for each of those agents. Oh, okay. I I, I miss. I thought somebody was uh, weaker than I should have looked at the cards a little closer. I didn't think I could do it with Austin and uh, Mulder. I thought I had a shot with the uh, the host there. I don't have my surprise card in to, to assist him. He needs. He's one of those cards that needs an assist. <laughs> A little bit. He's pretty weak. Um, do you do you want to take him back, or are you? No, no, it's, okay. all, right. it's all right. It's, it's, it's one of the... it's my okay. fault for not doing that um, ahead of time. On looking a little closer at your uh, your defenses. I actually did have a backup plan, so it was <laughs> it was going to happen no matter what. But <laughs> that's fine. But the backup plan was the one yeah. I was going to have to worry about. Uh, I thought it was. I just wanted to have for him to have some action. You, you've already seen seen the card, and you burned four CP. So I'll I'll just show you the backup plan was evasive maneuvers, which yeah. Uh, yeah. allows me to negate a non phenomena <laughs> adversary. Um, okay, so I think you're out of CP. So I feel pretty safe in saying I can ask a result question. Is that right? Oh, sure. Go for it. Okay, and just give me one second to assess what I want to ask here. So I've got what a motive site coming up next. Uh, this is this is probably I should probably take the opportunity to just, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go for the numbers and ask, is your result death? It is not. You probably knew it was not, but you felt compelled to ask anyway. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't. I, I went for the numbers, and I, I probably should have tried to be more worried about stringing together. <laughs> <laughs> stringing together wins here, but that's fine. Um, all right, so we crossed six off on that death question, which is a pretty healthy number yet. Oh, yeah. Just give me one second. I'm still still correlating, as Ash no would problem. say, from Alien. All right. So I think we're at three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got three three in each affiliation, which probably is not a great place to be for me. But okay. So burn that one. Uh, we'll go over to uh, Lake Okaboji. Which always sounds like it should be in Florida. It does. <laughs> but it's not. Yeah. I, that, I could think, exactly. I was, I was so surprised. I read the state. And I'm thinking, oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. I for, for the longest time, I thought I did think it was in Florida. And then um, 
I remembered, no, that's that episode takes place like in my backyard in Iowa. Uh, so. Isn't it? Uh, isn't the actual lake in Florida is Lake Okeechobee? <laughs> You're yeah, making that sounds, up. It sounds similar. <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh <laughs> alien investigation i'm currently at six there so i'll hit that unless you've got something something bonkers uh for zero cp i got nothing go for it all right so it's going to be another motive question and i think my let's see i've got what three security questions Knowledge, knowledge, four knowledge, five survival, which is the clear winner. Um, so I'll, I'll do survival as your motive to survival. It is not. Oh my God. <laughs> At this point, I think I'm just going to guess the X file. Just <laughs> <laughs> well, you're allowed to do that, and then I get to guess back, right? That might be the only you way I have a shot. <laughs> yeah, you'll you'll get a um, you'll get a, a motive question as well. So I think that was my fifth question. I haven't gotten any of them right. I think you've done your your sights in. They should have. I think they are resolved. Yeah, so I just have to decide if I want to do a question here. Um, two, three, four, or identity question. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven left. Um. You know, and I, th I think I will. Um, is your X file Leonard Vance? It is not. Okay. All right. So you can uh, fire a motive question back at me. Okay. It, it can be just. Sorry to chime in. I just want to make sure we're on the up and up. It can be motive, or he can ask the identity. Yeah, that's right. I just assume. Yeah. Good point, Mike. So what you, can, uh, you can take a, a stab in the dark. <laughs> what do you, <laughs> I, I think door, you got yeah. one, one question on me. So. No, I'm, I'm not feeling that dangerous uh, or that lucky. Let's see. Well, you're a fan of ideology. Let me go with that. Uh, is your mode of ideology? Let me take a look. Motive is not ideology. Okay. You know what? I think I need to uh, I need to pay for my other site though. <laughs> yeah. You never paid your for your site. No, I took the token off Mulder for one and then completely forgot about the second one. Okay. Well, thank you. Yeah. I had lost track. I thought it was paid for. Um, I just noticed that when I was looking over at my thing, like, mm, I think I have a few too many RP there. Actually, that was kind of... Um, I don't think I have anything else to play, so it's just a discard for me. And I think I'm going to discard. I need to discard one card. It's. I think I'm just going to be the site, Alistair Crowley. All right. And then over to you. Okay. Yeah, let's get something going here. I think my guy is... I'm going to keep Levin's creating conspiracy tokens for now for me. Okay. And then the other guys... 
we determined it was about five. Three for uh, dinner when he's in the bureau. And two for my other guys there, Spiller and Lamont. Oh. There's there five. So that's uh, so you've got eight. Arty. Okay. Actual draw. Uh, uh, resource and two conspiracy. Okay. Sounds good. And I am buying cards. Oh, I can cards. see your hands. So there you go. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Let's go with five cards. No, wait a minute. Let me double check this. Ah, that's terrible. Bad shuffling vibes here. Okay. <laughs> Four cards and nothing good? <laughs> well, I wouldn't say nothing good, but it's like, yeah, two pair. <laughs> and we're not playing poker. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is it uh... that kind of that kind of, that kind of fun? Uh, let's see. Is it uh, over to me to buy and sell? Yep, your go. Okay. All right, so I'm going to sell two. I'm going to sell uh, another evasive maneuvers and Bill Mulder for a total of seven, which is going to put me at thirteen. And. I think I'll use that to buy um, I'll buy five with that. Which will put me at eight. One, two, okay, four. Five. All right. Well, good. Okay, somebody in the hospital. I think I will. No, can't do that. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but my my dog is snoring so loudly next to me. <laughs> it sounds like a like an air siren. Well, let's get an affiliation question under the belt. Let me do that. All right, or try to. We're going to go to uh, Virgil and Canto's apartment in Cleveland, Ohio. For all in the field and uh, we're going to go visit Virgin Canto's Park, Cleveland, Ohio. It is a computer yeah, so I'm going to have to pay the ride on that one rather than rockers. No, it is. No, okay. Yeah. Spiller is going to get me one off on that one. There we go. Yep. 
for her tokens. Sounds good. Um, and, um, I think I'm going to use uh, Lamana's ability here, no, Tanner's ability to look for, look for a witness. That's okay. Sure. Okay. And I'm going to add uh, Michelle Jenneru to my hand. Okay. And I will not be playing any bluffs on that side. This was okay. I have, let's see, a computer skill. Let me go ahead and investigate. Got uh, a line there with three and uh, spiller with one. And that means it makes the four for the site. If I have any others, I know here. And that's it. Uh, I'm kind of tipping my hand here, but uh, could you tell me your total long range <laughs> for your agents? <laughs> oh, let's see. Okay. One. Two, three. Uh, five. Four. Five. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Our Chris well, team, my... Despite his. Yeah, pretty, pretty good. Efficient. Certainly enough to <laughs> thwart my adversary. Um, so you said you had a, a four computer skill? Yeah. With uh, three on, right. with Lamana's got three and Spiller's got one. That makes a four need. I don't think I have the bonus cards in play yet for boosting that, so. Okay, I'm, that's it. I'm gonna pay uh, pay the five to do uh, my second smoke and mirrors, and this time it's gonna be a minus three modifier to your computer skill check. <laughs> I think I'm gonna fail my uh, my check here with that little uh, help. Well, it's a, you know, you also still have a manners token. I don't know if you have a computer witness in there, but. Uh, no, I probably would have pulled him if, if, if he was out, if he was in there. But, uh, no, that's it. Okay. That site is resolved. You know, the, the Smoke and Mirrors was one of the last cards I put in this deck, and um, it's it's done well, this game, for me. Yeah, I saw somebody else use it effectively. It, was, it had, like, the one that did, like, a, it could do, like, a minus three or a plus three or something. It was, like, the fifth one. It was, like, oh, that's an amazing card. I just, yeah. You know, I think I, I, think I have that. one of those, but not all the five. Yeah, there's, like, yeah. five different ones. Like, Oh, right, right. I think they, 
they start at one, don't they? So there's two that do minus yeah, one. Yeah, I think so. I, I would determine for this initial, for the preliminary, not to use any uh, offer rares or promos. So I was trying to, and I think Smoke and Mirrors would have a wrong way, I guess. But maybe I'll have to reconsider. Yeah. <laughs> I think I have one. All right, and it, um, if you're you're wrapping up your turn, yeah, I, think I, think I need to discard. Yeah, I'm I'm holding it seven. Okay, I have nine. Well, unfortunately, I the adversary I really wanted to play was too shy, which would have been great uh. at Virgil and Canto's apartment, but uh, that one that one wasn't going to work out. So I'll discard him. And I will discard. Um, fortunately, I think I'm going to discard the Kalasari. So here's here's hoping there's no occult adversaries down the pipe. Yeah, I'm, I, I can't say I'm sad to see either one of those cards in the discard yeah. pile. <laughs> okay, so I will draw my card for the turn. Um, generate some res, which is going to be three again to put me at seven and uh, two two for Mulder. That's going to be the extent of my drawing this turn, and then I'll pass it back to you. All right, I will sell some of these things I probably won't need. I'm going to sell a laptop computer for four. <laughs> An underrated piece of equipment. And uh, let's see. I'll go ahead and uh, invest in the uh, rejuvenating days. You know they may they may never pay off here, but I will spend the two and add the ten. So sure. starting with those two. it for me okay um healing requisition deployment everything's good there um i think before i before i drop a site i'm going to uh use agent lamana's token yeah. no yes. wait nope i can't My do that yet he's got to be part of the mm -hmm. team investigating a site so I have to yeah, actually, I, I think my token felt. I found the penny lane here. I must have forgot to put that in. I probably slid off his card, so I'm, I'm re returning it to him. He hasn't actually been used yet, I don't think. Over yeah, either. for sure. Okay, so we'll wait on him. Um, I will play my site. It's going to be... Pay two. It's going to be Miller's Grove, Massachusetts. So that is a straight-up alien investigation. Four plus and result question site. All right. Inclined to let it happen. John, you've got a you've got a cheerleading section in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't imagine why. Unless they're rooting for you, 
I see. I see. What did I ever do to you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I can't. I have. I don't see any comments, so I won't worry about it. I won't let them distract me. Yeah. <laughs> I won't go looking for them at the moment. I think you should be closing in here. All right. Have you I, made a final decision on bluffs? I have. Sorry, I wasn't clear on that. Sorry. No bluffs. Why don't right. Or at least it appears to be so. Okay, so I'll send everybody, and uh, I will now use Agent Romana's token to take a look at what you're working with there. So just to read his text, uh, okay. when he's investigating a site in the investigation phase, he can force his opponent to show the cards in his hand. Not gender neutral writing there, but whatever. Uh, Lamana may then steal any one card. He may use it immediately in the investigation. You must still pay for the card. Whether you use it or not, place it in its owner's discard pile at the end of the turn. So how cool. So it looks like we've got a Relentless Pursuit, two sites, Michelle Jenneru, and a Equipment. So nothing that's going to stop me on this site investigation. No, there's not. I got nothing. Um, but I, I guess I'll steal the Relentless Pursuit, and I won't be able to use it, but that's fine. Yeah. Get rid of it. When it has potential slow a little bit. Yeah. Um, you can just put it in your discard pile. I'm not going to be able to use it. So, Okay. All right. Consider <laughs> I think it has to be played during the briefing phase, right? So. Yeah, I would have to play it uh, when you're drawing, right when you're drawing cards. Yeah. I think. No. So it's of no use. But, uh, but that's helpful information because I know you have nothing to thwart me now. So... <laughs> Yeah, I'm between that to, and Holstein, I'm going to pay five. Yeah, well, it gets it gets even more wild um, if I could nurse Owens and be able to replenish tokens. <laughs> yeah, to be um, so. I I spent five. I'm going to deep throat um, awesome. before I resolve the site, and I will ask: Is your now I got to be a little bit. Yeah, is your is your result abduction? Uh, let's see. It is not. Boy, I just cannot get these right to save my life here. And this is this is where I start to hope I didn't make a mistake on my list. <laughs> Well, yeah, I keep changing. That would be brutal. <laughs> no, just, yeah. just, just kidding. <laughs> um, all right. So, and I don't do I get to ask an identity question with this? No. No. So, but Deep Throat is removed from the game. Um, and then we'll finish up the site. So I have Alien Investigation 6 there, which is going to get me another result question. Um, and I will ask, is your result manipulation? And you should say yes. Being on that, but let me just double, let me just double check on that here. Okay. And you're looking for what was the question? Uh, manipulation. Sorry, manipulation. Is your result manipulation? It is not. Okay. Well, in that case, I I sure hope I know your X file. <laughs> I'll take a guess. Is your X file Colonel Wharton? It is. Wow. It is. Well, that that was the ultimate process of elimination game. There, holy cow! It, it I didn't was, get a single was. right answer. <laughs> and sometimes that's I, enough. <laughs> I was literally so bad, I was good. <laughs> Congratulations, Ethan. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and uh, good and. Heck of a try, uh, heck of a try, John. Of course, you know the deep throat always gets you, right? Well, no, that I, I think the game were on the first turn. So I can't, I can't fault deep throat for that. 
<laughs> but uh, no, it's been fun. Like I said, these are my uh, this is my uh, lose and learn uh, preliminary matchups here. Yeah, yeah, and you got so, two more to go. I got so to then... Sorry, go ahead. I get to see some good plays. Absolutely, absolutely. And then, yeah, once you get those next two out of the way, you can take whatever time you have in between that and then when we go to the finals and and really you could you can change up your deck anytime during those finals you know it doesn't have to be the first before the first one or before the second round it could just be whenever so yeah you guys can uh take the time and figure out what works and what doesn't lock in then or they can be changed with each round even once we get through these first three games then you then at that point anytime after your third game the your third pre-playoff one that you're doing now once those three out of the way, any time after that. Yeah, and I apologize, John, about the, the double laser barrier. Just... Oh, not at all. I thought it was pretty cool. But I, I, I did, it did kind of occur to me at one point. But, <laughs> but, but I think the prospect sounded like difficult. double annihilation or something there. I, you can put it in the hospital. Know, it, it, it's it's interesting because like Stephen and I like we have access to like all the screens like at the bottom of the the picture, and when something comes up up like that, you know, like him and I are looking at the bottom. We're not looking at the main screen. We're looking at the bottom. We're like, hey, hey, hey. We're trying to get each other. <laughs> <laughs> well, I bet, bet you were about to do it during the Lamana thing. Uh, well, oh, not the one. Yes. Well, I yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, Nathan, I think with the, the laser barrier thing, because I believe I can probably search my memory and probably find an instance where someone has played that, either you, me, Guillaume, or David. I think what it is is that we are so used to the the well, I say the old the 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 former way that we were playing bluffs where you have multiple bluffs, you flip over one, pay for it, it gets resolved, then you flip over the next one and it happens to be another laser barrier. Yeah. So in that sense, it's fine because one is was one was played and resolved before the next one got played. Yeah. So I think we're just so used to playing it that way that for those instances where I feel like I have, like, I think I just did a posted a game where Guillaume like played like two share of Daniels's in a row on me in the same round. And, but again, we, he played them and paid for them separately and we got, they got resolved before the next one came up. So it was kind of a non-issue, but now the way we're doing it with the bluffs in the tournament, which, Again, is how it's stated in the rules. I mean, it yeah. does kind of, yeah, create that little uh, bit of confusion when we were previously able to do. We kind of were doing it, but we weren't really because they were getting resolved separately. It was a it was a stupid thing anyway, just designed to burn John's Langley because he had um, Matheson in play. So the two that I would have bounced back to his uh, sends it to the bureau or something like that. Right. Mm -hmm. The the two, I would have bounced back to the bureau. John could have replaced with the senators tokens. So he would have got, he would have got the question off anyway. Speaking but, uh, of uh, John, are you able to switch your cameras up? Oh, uh, sure. And uh, Nathan, um, yeah, you're, uh, you're hitting next file. Um, John, I know you had, I, I don't, Think you got any question off, but uh, Nathan, no, you want to go ahead and reveal? Yeah. You got one. You got one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, did you have an inkling on which one Nathan might have been holding? If you had to guess, well, let me bring. Shot let, me, in the dark. let me pull up my. Let me pick up. Pull up my psych skills here, and we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at it here. Uh, let's see here. Bring out the old psychic here and. I don't know. The one that jumped out at me was the swarm. <laughs> <laughs> There's the bugs swarm. on it, on so you're not yeah, entirely. Yeah, your 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 psychic powers did not entirely fail you. It's the F masculata. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, nice. that's a popular one here because people get ugly. They'll be able to pick it. Thing. Yeah, actually, yes. It's I not the first time I was. I was gonna say, yeah, it's not the first time we've seen uh, that X file card chosen. It was used by 
Kurt, I was actually going over my notes and looking at what X Files have been previously used in the in the past ten games, and so I was trying to get a sense of like which ones have been recurring and which ones haven't, because we did see Colonel Wharton just last night. <laughs> that and, was uh, and, really. And by the way, and by I, the way, I, Stephen, I, sorry, you, I, Stephen, you were asking me I, earlier I, which X Files was not included in my list. And that was it, man. Like I was literally, I was like going through my stack of cards because you know you you took. That's what I'm saying. I didn't want to give it away, right? But yeah. you're, <laughs> but you're like, oh yeah. So his X file is this, and I'm like, oh wow. Sure enough, yeah. I don't really? have one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Colonel Wharton has been it's right here a few times. <laughs> How many do you need? <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> You could probably yeah. open one pack and get seven of them. I know, right? The elusive zombie master. So, Nathan, uh, yeah, you did have a, a good number of promos in your, in your well, I mean, just from your deck that we got to see tonight. Um, yeah, the uh, the smoke and mirrors. Um, um, yeah, that, it's not one that I think that came in handy. too much it in did. regular gameplay, but uh, certainly made uh, an appearance uh, handily tonight. Uh, Thoughts on including that one? Um, two thoughts. One yeah. is I'm know, not going to reveal my point of that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this is a, let's keep it a PG uh, broadcast. But our um, my my thought in including it was first of all, it's very very versatile. So the plus three minus three. Um, you know, can well and and it displayed right. I plus three mm -hmm. to end the unexplainable time loss thread, and then I minus three on his side. So, incredibly versatile. Also, it pitches for five CP, which is pretty solid. So, mm -hmm. you know, in a pinch, you can use it for that. Um, so it seemed, it seemed like when I when I looked at it, I'm like, this can do so much. I can I can go past the seventy five and make it seventy seven, and throw this card in there too. So. That was it. Excellent, and yeah, I do, I do think it's a worthwhile inclusion. Be and and, and it's just unfortunate because yeah, it is one of those cards that is very hard to find for those in the tournament who don't have their hands on one. And I, you try to find one now, you're probably looking somewhere in the ballpark of like fifty bucks in order to get one these is days. Really that much? Holy cow! I think yeah. so. And, and I think if your your best bet is to probably buy the set of five. I know there's. One seller. I don't know if that's Mackie or not, but uh, there's one seller that's offering him for all five. But again, I, I think it's like somewhere in the it's a more. It's over fifty, if I'm not mistaken. But I don't know. I think it's if if you're in a position where you don't have any of them, it might be a worthwhile purchase at that point. Otherwise, yeah, maybe not. That is a that's a crazy price. It's, it's funny. I saw one. Uh, I think it was the Dave Meyer game I watched online. You guys had put it up. And I think he had played one as well. Mm -hmm. That I think it was that hard, good play. He had used it effectively as well. But alas, I don't think. Yeah, I and, that, and as Nathan was saying, it, yeah, as Nathan was saying, it's pretty versatile because it doesn't matter which. I mean, which turn you're in, it's like there there is a use for it. One, those purple cards are. Are, are quite hand, can quite handily uh, make uh, make a, a difference in that round, and it's which is nice because it's like it's it can be played when you're either the investigating player or the conspiracy player, and it can really turn that round on its head. Yeah, I I thought uh, I don't know the the downside of it, and especially with my with my team because they're producing so little RP every turn. Um, and I really, I question now what the hell was I thinking uh, yeah, putting this thing together? Yeah. I mean, I don't, I'm not even sure. I, I might have like one computer site to use her ability or something like that. Like, <laughs> I don't know. This is, there are, I, mean, I, I, I will say there are far more riskier, there are far more riskier decks in this tournament. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, for real. And Nathan, you got manners on your team. I mean, come on. He's a yeah. safety. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't feel good about it, Stephen, if that's what you're getting at. Well, I mean, yeah, I was when um yeah, I was wondering if you were got, like when you're in that situation where you're like, Oh, I'm a little short on my skill check here, I was like, Well, 
now would be a great time for Nathan to utilize those manners tokens. Yeah, if I, if I had put witnesses in the deck. <laughs> if it's another oversight. Like, why is he in your <laughs> Yeah, if that's the case. And I was like, I question why he's on your team anyway. If you're not going to inundate the deck with witnesses, because as you pointed out, you, you, you don't have a, a great amount of resource points you're generating, and manners obviously isn't helping with that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, um, with uh, with manners, there there is a method to my madness. We may see it in a later game, but uh, we may observe it in a later one because I mean, manners is yeah. most, most uh, helpful in observation skills. So I don't know if that's it, but yeah, we'll yeah. see. I don't want to. I'm not going to talk too much about the specifics of your deck because this is only your first one, and you've got two more to go. But John, you did play. You did have a couple of witness resources make an appearance on your mm -hmm. team, which. I'm a fan of. I like uh, Senator Matheson. I like uh, Michelle Jenneru. I think those are great inclusions in there. Well, it's it's funny in a way because I had I set the deck up to pull witnesses and I only had like two in it. I'm like, what was I? I have more cards for any witnesses than I have witnesses. <laughs> so it, it's going to be. And those witness resources are great if they can come up early enough in the game. Like your Matheson thing came up, thankfully, early enough in it. But yeah, it, the earlier you get those cards out, uh, then the be the mo then the more you can get out of them as you know as you progress through each round. Um, but yeah, I mean that hence that's part of why I include manners on my teams usually because that is my strategy: get that witness resource out in the first round, so then that way I can start benefiting from it immediately. Yeah, I was uh, I was really excited on turn one because I thought I could I thought I could <laughs> pop off a occult investigation in, uh, with Hosteen, an alien investigation with Mulder, and a bureaucracy with the rest of the three of them. And then I remembered, no, we're only doing two sites. Yeah, <laughs> I think you still got three I questions did. on that first turn, That's true. which made. <laughs> <laughs> oh nice Mike oh, nice. Mike <laughs> for six push well I guess once well in Mike's case the shipping is usually a problem so Mike I'm curious because yeah. you're from Canada how much is it going to cost to get that to you with shipping and he's going to be like eh, about 50 bucks <laughs> he, he doesn't know he got this one <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You Ouch. Know, I bought that someone, for six bucks just the other day. <laughs> uh, another one of our friends uh, uh, a couple weeks ago said that they were going to send me, or they did send me, a bunch of cards. And I was like, hey, man, it's been a month. Uh, where are those cards? And they're like, dude, I sent them a month ago. They're not there. And I'm like, no. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So, USPS uh, freaking uh so yeah tracking number uh insurance international especially steven i know we just had that discussion and i saw that just the other day we we had the discussion if you if you're not mistaken or if i'm not mistaken uh mm -hmm. where you said you were going to send something to someone overseas mm -hmm. and i was like oh man you should have gotten you should have gotten tracking like you should have got and then they posted hey i just got this mail from steven and i was like that was fast and it made it holy mm -hmm. crap like that was that was insane so like you know yeah and, <laughs> and really i mean the, as i as i say as i may have said in discourse like i i mean all the stuff i've sent out overseas everything has made it thus far except for the one that i sent to yost and that one was my fault because i did not put enough i didn't tape the back the back side of the envelope uh, uh to make sure that the, the and, and it can't and it felt that the envelope did arrive but it was empty because it had opened up somewhere along the way. And so everything else I've sent has made it. And yeah, actually currently it stands. I've got cards sent out right now to three different countries at this point, as of right now, I've got so, them so in the do you feel Stephen, that your lack of preparation on <laughs> taping the back of an envelope to use <laughs> Nathan, I know you're. Yeah. I'm could just have, so could have could have made a difference in this game based upon the cards that you would have sent to Yost. 
I mean, uh, no, I'm, no, it's a different, different, uh, different. Yost. This is Yost Burns in oh. the Netherlands, not John. Okay, okay. Here, uh, no, no, different Yost. Sorry. <laughs> okay, yes. all right. Spells I'm like, man, if we got a problem, we got another problem. Uh, yeah, no, no, <laughs> no, no. John Yost Burns is in the Netherlands. John Yost, as he said, he's in Pennsylvania. Those are very, very verse. I, I could probably get something to the Netherlands quicker than Pennsylvania. I don't know why. Ship, shipping within the U.S. is is, is, uh, is a pain, but yeah, I don't know. Seems like what? my international shipping hasn't really run into too many issues, and I say that let now. Me, let me tell yeah. you, the, the 2020 election conspiracy ain't got nothing on the way Steven just rigged this game by mailing cards all over the United States. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they, can, they can't add them to their decks. They cannot add them to their decks until the deck after these. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just, in my mind, I'm seeing, I'm, I'm seeing Discord just lighting up. And I'm going to go to bed. I don't care. Yeah, I'm going to bed. You know, I am too because I'm going to... You know what? I, other than the three games tomorrow, I won't be on Discord. But no, I'm saying I have no problem. Like I, I'm sending them out to. No, no, no. We're just kidding. We're just kidding. Man. Right. We're just we're kidding. Just, no, yeah. we, need, we need a. We need an. It's always <laughs> sunny. Me, from the Charlie Discord the... light up. So I, yeah, I am I'm, I'm afraid at this point. But yeah, no. Um, <laughs> the way I see it is that there are so, there are two categories of contenders in this tournament. The ones who have everything in triplicate. Nathan, you would be one of them. And then the ones who don't necessarily have all the cards available to them. When it gets to the point when the, they're revising their deck for the finals, then you know what? They're going to have some cards, to extra cards, provided like they that. get there in time, that they can add to their decks. I yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, so, I don't know. I don't even know what that means, Mike. Um, it's a uh, tell him Steve Dave reference. Humming, 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 humming. Yep. I think, uh, no, I think that's very true. And I don't, I don't, uh, you know, want to be portrayed as some X Files fat cat here just sitting on my uh, smog like treasure of, uh, of X Files cards. Oh, uh, you me a <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. This, uh, uh, this, this, yeah, this, this, uh, my, my collection is, you know, I didn't, I didn't play with some of the, the old guys in the nineties. My collection came about, um, in the, in the mid two thousands, I'd say, um, oh, oh, six to oh nine, really. I started putting it together. Everything was dirt cheap back then. You know, you could buy boxes for 15 bucks or even less, uh, in some cases. So. And I was just like, you know what? I, I love the X-Files and I miss the show. And this is a way to stay connected to it when nothing else is going on. So, My goal, my, my goal well, is to, to uh, drive, eventually drive this uh, card game into the ground uh, so that uh, <laughs> you guys can get those $15 boxes again. And I'll continue yeah. to just, just drunkenly just, just say stupid things. Uh, you have my word on that. Uh, so that one day you guys can get these boxes of cards again for <laughs> for dirt <laughs> I blame and, I blame Dax for popularizing the game in a Facebook group. Uh, really, it's well, his fault. I think it was a, a, a yeah! two side effort between Dax and Mike. I think these two these two gentlemen are the ones we have to collectively blame for uh, for bringing it back from the ashes. Uh, John, John you yeah, sorry, what you in, in, in your boxes that you have to blame for the uh, <laughs> a lot of problems. Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, I to... <sighs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I remember uh, ripping I a box of Premiere uh, right around the time I was just getting into it. And uh, I was putting them in stacks by, you know, what they, okay, witness, event. And my stack of X-Files was just toppling. I, I, was doing it on, I was doing it on a bed watching a movie. And my X-Files, they just slid all the way. X-Files everywhere. Oh, yeah. And I'm, yeah. Like, I'm like, I need to stop opening boxes and just mm -hmm. buy collections. <laughs> because this is I stupid. I still, I, I'm not even kidding, man. I still have that moment where, like, 
you know, I, I've got a certain amount. It's not a huge amount. I don't have boxes upon boxes like some people probably do. <clears throat> than Higgy. And, but, well, Nathan. <laughs> right? But I said I'm not a fat cat. No. But like, I do, I do have a number of sealed boxes. Do you have right now, Nathan? How many boxes do I have right How now? How many unopened boxes do you have right now? I'm taking the fifth. Uh, yeah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> See, I just I just have packs. But even those, I'm oh. just like, you know what? Like, I what's the point in opening this pack? I know it's not an ultra rare. Yeah. I know if, if it's a rare, okay, cool. I've got like 10 of it. Mm -hmm. You know, like what's what's the point? Honestly, I think the biggest draw to this day for these cards that we covet so deeply are 1013 packs. I think, that, I think that is where the money and the rarity lie. And Steven, you said it the other day. It is so much harder yeah. to find John. a mailman <laughs> or an obliette, right, than it is a 1013 ultra rare. Well, or no, uh, yeah, and the same goes for uh, Visions of a Madman yeah. and Fighter card. For some reason, those are all four rare what cards. What is this? When I can get my hands on an ultra rare 1013 card easier than a 1013 rare. I don't know why. It's just, it's I, it's an anomaly. I think John is showing us his finals deck. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Fear me. Is that how you're feeling it? <laughs> this, is, this is a coveted X-Files pile. Oof. Very nice. And, um, and actually, John, I was going to say like uh, earlier, um, before I had to go humming a humming and everything, if there's anything missing from your set that you would like, you know, you can just let us know in the Discord. Mike, I, Jonathan Hagee, we're all usually, you know, sitting on, you know, lots of extra copies. So if there's anything you need, you can just let us know in Discord and, you know, we can send it to you. Appreciate that. Oh, uh, wow. This started with me when I was getting rid of cards. And uh, John, uh, I, think it was, I think his last name is Higgy, uh, that I had misrepresented one of the cards I put up for a listing on eBay. And this is after I'd sold three sets for a year and was getting ready to sell the fourth. And he pointed out that the uh, one of the Fox Molders was not the ultra rare. It was the mm. <laughs> oh. so, so I, pulled, I, I pulled the listing and I thought, you know, maybe I ought to play this game because because the tournament is coming up and I only have like two or three days here and maybe this is like a sign before I get rid of my last rope. <laughs> maybe I should get in a turn. So uh, here I am, thanks to. Uh, uh, someone pointed out that gee, uh, you had a, you made a mistake with your listing. So, but I had almost disposed of four deep throats and four X's, and instead I only disposed of about three each. So mm. I still have a couple left. But. I'm still uh, I'm still in the so market for an X. If anyone out there has okay, an X. I, I think I will have. I think I currently have three. So you, one may one may. One may be available to you. Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, uh, John, uh, for anybody, I know that, that we've got a couple of viewers tonight uh, that are either new to it, uh, new to the group, new to the game. Uh, and there you go. Uh, I, I, I don't have everything. Uh, in fact, actually, the irony is I have one Foo Fighter. I've been trying to find Foo Fighters for a while. We talked about that earlier with the 1013 set. But I do have in abundance, massive abundance, of rares and ultra rares that I just want to give away. I don't want anything in return for them. I yeah. don't care. I just want to give them away. So if you are getting into the game, right, uh, whether you're part of the tournament or not, probably better that you're, you know, not part of the tournament because you know that'll make me look bad but <laughs> right but if you <laughs> but if you want if you want some of these cards get a hold of me send me a message mmxfilescg at gmail.com send me a message 
Tell me what you need. I will send you these cards. I don't want anything in return. The community has taken care of me. David May has taken care of me. David Frank, Ronnie Noyes, uh, 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 freaking who else? Steven, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, Brian Woodward. Oh my God. Holy crap. Brian Woodward. Um, they have taken care of me so that I can disseminate these cards to you guys. Right? So send me a message. Let me know what you want. I will send you what I have. Yeah, there you go. Send me a message. Again, mmxfilesccg at gmail.com. Let me know what you need. I will send you what I have. If I don't have it, I, I can't send it to you. You know, obviously. Well, if Mike but doesn't Nathan, have Nathan, it. Nathan keeps bugging me about uh, deep throats, and I'm like, dude, I don't have any more. You know. Yeah. Um, but, <laughs> um, but you know, beyond that, like you know, let me know what you're listening. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I'm what, and if, what you need to do is just start start running them off the copy machine and, and mailing them out. Hey, I got a printer now, right? Oops. That's true. Um, <laughs> do they have any um, um, scruples about printing them with like the, the trademark symbol and all that on their mic? As long as they're on uncut sheets. I mean, they you got you got to think about it this way, right? I can have these sheets, these uncut sheets printed. Mm -hmm. the actual dies, the actual metal dies that cut these things out. These things probably don't exist anymore for this particular right. card. Because um, the sizes are just too specific. I mean, yeah. you can't you 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 can't just hand cut. I mean, we're talking about millions, literally millions of cards. You can't just hand cut those, right? So the dies probably don't even exist anymore. Mm -hmm. um, so the way they see it is like, oh yeah, we'll print you an uncut sheet. Good luck, for, you know, getting it cut. I mean, there's yeah, no point. Story. <laughs> yeah, so that, I think that's part of the reason why they're doing it for us. And maybe that'll be the next leg of our little journey. Like well, next year, we'll figure out how to get those uncut sheets cut. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> well, not the one. Are there. you gonna keep the die press <laughs> behind you, nah. in, like in your room? Nah, I'm good. I'm I think good. you got room there, Mike. Nah. <laughs> and you, can Uwe, you can have Uber Bunny run the presses for you. Uh, uh, All the cards now, will be like Now, there's a, a Mike in that X Files CCG <laughs> that I would watch. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen with, with this wonderful amount of information. Oh, Steven. Holy crap. Steven's making the motion. He's got something else to say. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Don't sign us off real quick because, yeah, we got to. Just got to remind people that there are three games happening tomorrow night, um, two of which are going to be on the Alien Investigations channel. Please uh, please subscribe there and subscribe here if you haven't already done so. So two games happening tomorrow on Alien Investigations. One is going to be happening on this channel as well. So uh, make sure to follow along because uh, they're happening all day tomorrow. So um yeah, just make yeah, make sure you just hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And um also yeah, also um if uh like uh Dan Abnett, I wanted to also point out if you are not already in the Discord community, you can find the link to that in the descriptions of every one of the games on my channel. And you can go there and that's where all of us are you know, talking about the game and may implant and scheduling games and doing everything with respect to this game. So check out our discord community, Nathan, uh, you aptly titled this discord community. What it is uh purity control, purity control. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, go there. And then again, you can reach out to all of us and follow, uh, follow the conversations that we're having there about some of the card nuances. And again, we can also, work on getting you the cards you need to complete your set. So we check do, it out. Uh, we do have a security officer, though, sta standing at the door who is going to ask you the project password. We are an equal opportunity Discord group. <laughs> yes. I Yes. <laughs> I think that goes without saying. Okay, I'm just saying. I, just, I wanted to throw that out there. We even allow uh, evil bunnies in the group. So, I, hey, hey, man, he's he's still here. Yeah. Oh, I it see. is a, it is a pet friendly the whole time. 
Every single one of us has had that interrupt our games. In my bathroom at like 3 a.m. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, I, don't know why he's, I don't know why he's there, and I don't know why I have to bring him back down here. I'm just saying. It's just weird. I, I will uh, I will say seeing him in person at File Fest, uh, it is a much more terrifying object than you would think. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I I will it was a pleasure to meet you, Mike, but you could have left the evil bunny at home. I'm just saying. <laughs> I think what it is is that like Okay. I think he will be no, 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 no. home. I did. I did leave him home. I did. I did leave him here. He was right here when I left for Minneapolis. That is. That is. A, no. That's not on me. Okay. okay. Mike drugged his food bowl in order to get on the plane without him, but yet he still found a way to get there. Like the so, like the gremlin in the Twilight Zone, just yeah. wrenching on the wing as you as you fly into Minneapolis. It was really I, think, um, I think Evil Bunny is just simply seeking the Scully Pewter because that thing is also equally hideous. And I think what happens is if Evil Bunny ever gets his hands or his paws on the Scully Pewter, then we're going to see something out of the likes of the climax of the first Ghostbusters movie, you know? <laughs> Before yeah. before we break, John, thank you for the game. It's been a while since uh, since I got to play. So oh, this was it was a, fun. A lot of fun. Excellent. You had some excellent. I appreciate you guys there. Uh, yeah. 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 Thanks. Back. Thanks so much again. You know, I I know I've said this a hundred times uh, uh, with the tournament games, but you know, you guys stepping up and kind of scheduling your own things has been amazing um and i know we've got uh, a couple of games coming from you both mm -hmm. uh, in the future so uh unless steven has anything i think we can sign off here no that's it yeah gentlemen great game and uh do keep me up to date on the the next two that each of you are going to be scheduling in the weeks to come i do i do require if I we're going to sign off right I, I do require some finger guns all right? four of us gentlemen right we gotta get oh i like the sharpshooter yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you're on my list. I was <laughs> <laughs>